Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Three men, two current Department of Corrections employees and one former DOC employee, allegedly planned to carry out a murder plot, according to the Attorney General's office. All three have ties to the white supremacist group, the Ku Klux Klan, and the target was said to be an African-American inmate. Thomas Driver and David Moran were working for the department in Lake Butler. Charles Newcomb was let go in January of 2013. Julie Jones. The uh, news broke just as the as secretary, secretary of the department, department was being confirmed by a and Senate panel. Do, Senator do, Athenia do, Joyner do, says do, it's do, another mark do, against do, the department do, currently dealing with a crisis when it comes to inmate treatment. It's unfortunate, but it just seems like there's a pattern. And that is the troubling thing, a pattern one way or the other allegations to kill someone, persons haven't actually been killed under suspicious circumstances. The Department of Corrections declined an on-camera interview but released this statement condemning the actions of the men. The arrest warrant says the plot stems from a fight between the inmate and driver. Driver claims the inmate had a disease and tried to pass it on to him. Earlier this year, two of the suspects drove to the inmate's house with syringes of insulin and a handgun and were prepared to carry out the plot. The case is set to be prosecuted in Columbia County. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.